In Hallkirk, seven miles south of Thurso, bird-loving Anne is checking in on her two African grey parrots who have become parents. This is Jasper, this is Dad. And this one here is Mum, although it's called Tommy. We didn't realise it was a girl until we had it sexed, so it stayed with Tommy. I've laid eggs for the last six years and never ever been any babies. But this time I come in one morning and there's a tiny baby bird on the floor. <laughs> the chatty pair have struggled with parenthood. Anne has hand reared their youngest for the past three months and now needs to find him a new home. First, he needs an all important veterinary procedure. So Anne's dropped into the practice to get him sorted out. He's a um, protected species. Yes. He has to have a CITES certificate, so we've had to come in to get him microchipped so that we're keeping within the law. But young Parrot, as he's affectionately called, <laughs> can be a little nippy and prone to the odd tantrum. He can be quite bad-tempered when his toys touch him. He um, shouts at them. So this is a case for parrot-loving Rebecca, the newest vet at the practice, who is cramming in a bit of last-minute microchipping revision. We're just looking at what we're needing to do for that, because, again, it's not something we do routinely, and parrots seem to come to me. <laughs> it's always a bit of a undertaking to become the person, <laughs> like the ferret person or the seal person, but actually I do really enjoy working with birds, so I don't mind doing the bird work. <laughs> Vet nurse Vicky will be the able assistant. This is a last resort, but we're not hoping to need it as the net for catching them. But yeah, we're not gonna be using this. This is just worst case scenario. Hello. Hello. This must be Parrot. Yes. All right, up you come. <laughs> Hello. All Thank right. you very much. Come along then, Parrot. Off we go. <laughs> Here is Parrot. Has Parrot got a name? No, no, Parrot's called Parrot. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> it seems Parrot's reputation has come before him. Right. I'm Hello. just going to pop some gloves on and we'll see. Hopefully he wants to come out and see us. Always prepared. They're just a safety precaution. You know, nine times out of 10, you might not need them, but you know, once you've had the one out of 10, you suddenly feel like you'd like to wear gloves. Yeah. Now, their reluctant patient needs to be teased out of his cage. He's trying to bite me, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they can be a bit. There we go, that's it. Okay. It's all right, little one. I know, I know. Good pet. I know. You bite that, but not me. The microchips used in parrots are the same as those used in cats and dogs. A little parrot. It's the size of a grain of rice and would be a painful insertion on a small bird, so anaesthetic is required. Yes, you nibble on that. You nibble on that. <laughs> Preferable. Hence why we wear the gloves. Anesthetising any bird can be risky. It's OK. You do have to be very careful, especially with the African greys. Too little, and he could wake in discomfort and take flight. With something so small and delicate, you, you don't want to do any harm when you're restraining them, but at the same time, you need to have confidence that this parrot is not going to, to flutter off. <laughs> but too much anaesthetic, and Parrot might not wake up at all. A lot of dogs don't even notice it, but birds are just a different category. It's far less stressful and invasive if they can just breathe in a little bit of anaesthetic. They're just beautiful, aren't they? They're extraordinary creatures, and it's just amazing to work with them, really. With the pretty little boy flat out, Rebecca can proceed. And what I'll do now is just check that there's not a chip been placed previously. 
No, that's fine. Positioning of the microchip is all important. What we're aiming for is to place it in the lower third of the muscle, placing up the weight. If you go too high, there's a lot of nerves and blood vessels, so we're looking to avoid that. Parrots can live for well over 50 years, so once injected into his pectoral or breast muscle, it needs to stay there. And what we do is we slide the skin so that the hole in the skin doesn't line up with where the microchip is because parrots have a nifty way of nibbling <laughs> the chip back out again. So that's our bottom third. Right. Oh, that's you, my love. That's you. Very good. You're very good. OK. Rebecca seals in the chip with skin glue. We'll just place a little spot of glue in the skin. Okay. And gives Parrot some pain relief for when he wakes. Right, little Parrot. That's us. He now has an official number. If he ever flies the nest, so to speak, then we will be able to scan him and trace him back to his owners. And minutes later... <laughs> Parrot flaps back to life. Off he goes. He's coming around quick. <laughs> Though a little woozy. He looks like he's had a few whiskies. I know, he's drunk. That's us, Parrot. Are you wanting to go home to your, your brood, your crew? Alright, let's go see your mum. Hello there. Yeah. One parrot back. Gosh, she's certainly perked up seeing you. There we go. <laughs> and Anne has some exciting news. There we go. Thankfully, she's found a new pad for the young chap. He's going to his new home at weekend. It's a young couple, so I really believe that he's he's going to the best home. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's been a good day all round. All ten fingers here, and the bird recovered nice and well. Hats off to Anne, because I, I know she certainly is devoted to each of those birds that she has, so it, it's amazing. It, it's someone with a passion. <laughs> I think that's enough for today, yes? There we go. <laughs> go on. There you go. In Holkirk, parrot owner Anne is one pet down. But it's not bad news. Parrot, the young African grey Anne reared after his parents had struggled with him, has successfully flown the nest. He's gone to live with a young couple and they've called him Pablo. So, yes, he's very happy. They sent me a text thanking me very much. Can't believe I've got myself an African grey baby. <laughs> that was it. Anne has only happy memories of her short time with Parrot. That's him coming out of the shell. He's just started to peck his way around and then his little head just come out. And there he is, squeezing himself. <laughs> and there he is. And that's him being fed and the husband feeding him. Oh yeah, they're, they're amazing. Yeah, he's beautiful, he's feathering, he's so healthy. He's happy, that's all that matters.